Hello and welcome to the Learning Lab Class Podcast 101. My name is Melissa and I'm one of the Adult and Teen Services Librarians at the Arcadia Public Library. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Apple Podcast app on an Apple device. So let's get started. So this is an iPad and what I'm going to do in order to start is um, I am going to go head over to the App Store on the top row here. I'm going to go ahead and click on the App Store so that I can go ahead and search for the Apple Podcast app. So I'm going to go ahead and type in what I'm looking for and go ahead and hit search. And I get a list of results. And so you'll notice two things. First, um, on the left hand side, this purple app is the one that I'm looking for, Apple Podcasts, and it's got a little cloud icon with a down arrow. And what that means is that's something that has been previously downloaded to my Apple account, but that is not currently on this device. Sometimes when you do a search, if you've never downloaded an app before, it will show up, uh, the button will show up as this get like it does for the Apple Podcast app on the right hand side, or sorry, the podcast app on the right hand side. So either button is fine. It just means slightly different things. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that little cloud icon to download it to the app to this device. So just bear with me a minute while it does its downloading. And as it moves through the circle, then it will say when it is done, it will say open. So I can launch the app right from here. Um, or what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit my home button and I'm going to go back to the home screen of the iPad. And you'll notice that next to the Zoom icon in the second row, the little purple app showed up and says podcast. And that is the device or the app that I just downloaded to this device. So your iPad or iPhone or Apple device of any kind is going to look different than this one. But um, when you download an app from the App Store, it's going to appear somewhere on your device. You're just going to have to look through the pages um, on your device in order to find it. So I'm going to go ahead and launch this podcast app. I'm just going to hit tap on it and it will open it up. If it's the first time that you are using the app, it is going to um, give you this little walkthrough or a little bit more information. I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. Now let's talk about the basic navigation of this app. So it has on just this uh, main screen, it's gonna default to browse. And so this lets you take a look at new shows, featured shows, different lists that the app has, has in there. So they've got a list of top shows, they've got a list of top episodes, they have categories that you can browse, um, and then other more topical lists that they've created. They even have right here at the top, uh, new to podcast. It allows you to kind of browse, uh, figure out some podcasts that you might be interested in listening to. Again, lots of different lists that they've made. Now, if you'll notice down here on the bottom, there's a couple of icons. Uh, the first we're gonna talk about is search. And that's a little magnifying glass. So I'm going to head over there and click search. I'm going to say you've heard about a podcast and you want to see if it's available in this app. So let's take a look. So I'm going to search for LA podcast. And you'll notice that as I'm typing, it comes up with some predictive text. So if I see what I'm looking for, I can just click right on that. And it's going to go ahead and execute that search. Up top, it will bring you back shows that match your search. And then on the underneath that, it's gonna bring you back episodes that match that search. So I am looking for that one that says LA Podcast, but you'll notice that there are other things that maybe have those keywords. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit uh, LA Podcast up in shows, and it's gonna bring me to the page for that podcast. So a couple of things, it's going to give you um, an overview. It's going to give you the description. It is going to give you uh, previous episodes um, in reverse chronological order. Um, and you'll notice that this one says that I am already subscribed. So this account is already subscribed to this podcast. 
But let's say that um, I didn't want to be subscribed anymore. I can just hit under the dot, 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 unsubscribe. So normally when you find a new um, podcast and you're not, you've never listened to it before, you're not going to be subscribed to it. So if you wanted to subscribe to it, um, and in the context of Apple Podcasts, that means add it to your library, you can go ahead and hit subscribe on the podcast page and it will confirm. And normally it will download the first episode, the latest episode that's available. This one is not downloaded right now, but I could choose to download it to my device by clicking on the little cloud with the down arrow or any of the plus signs next to other next to other episodes. The dot 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 on the right hand side is your settings menu. It gives you control over the order in which episodes play. If you want to delete um, this podcast from your library, unsubscribe, those sorts of things. I'm going to back out of there. I'm also going to stop that download. Um, but if you click on an episode, it will start playing. And this is what the playing an episode looks like in Apple Podcasts. So you've got a couple of options that I wanted to just try your attention to. Obviously, the triangle in the middle is play. Then you've got the back 15 second arrow or the forward 30 second arrow. So that allows you to move through the episode. You've got your volume bar right under that. And then on the left hand side under the volume bar, you have the option at the speed at which you play the episode. So you can play it at half speed. It'll default to regular speed, but you could speed it up, slow it down. So if people are talking particularly slow, you can speed it up. The center icon with the little triangle is to broadcast it to another smart device. So if you have a smart TV or a smart speaker, you can, on the same Wi-Fi network, you can broadcast it to that. And then the dot, 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 again, is just the settings menu um, that allows you to, if you don't have this episode downloaded, you can download it, uh, tell it which episode to play next, that sort of thing. And then below that, there is the sleep timer. So if you're listening to something before going to sleep, you can have it turn itself off. And then it will show you what episodes it's going to be playing next. And so this one, based on the settings for this podcast in my options, is going to play in reverse chronological order. All right. So I'm going to back out of this and I'm going to go back to, um, this is just the cleared search page so I can do another search if I wanted to. But I'm now going to go on the bottom over to library. And you'll notice that I have... Um, LA podcast in my library because I am subscribed to this podcast. Uh, any shows that I am subscribed to will show up here. Any episodes that I have been listening to will be here. And then any episodes, if I have any downloaded to this specific device, will show up here. Same thing in Listen Now, which is the button on the far left-hand side in the bottom corner. This will show you things that you've recently listened to and things that are up next in your queue. The little bell on the top is your notifications. You can also manage that from the settings of an individual podcast page, but you can also do it here. If you don't want Apple Podcasts to let you know when there's a new episode out, you can just turn that off and just manually check it. So that's an overview of Apple Podcasts. In this video, we covered how to download the app from the Apple Store, the basics of navigation, different ways to search it and browse, and then how you would listen to a podcast in Apple Podcasts. In our next videos, we're going to take a closer look at other podcast apps. So feel free to leave us a comment below or reach out to library staff if you have any additional questions or we can be of any further assistance.